Yeah. Alright, next comment. Next this is for the, the parents. For the parents. For the parents. So, Corey Gordon says, I want her parents' advice on parenting. And this one is the most liked comment. So wow. we should How spend many some likes? 323. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So all wow. the parents are out there watching this and being like, program needs to be yeah. available and ready to go. So Aww. from A to <laughs> Z parenting guide. <laughs> Drop right. it. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? I'll, Ladies I'll first. I got it. Step one, find a rock. Step two, <laughs> wait for a magical storm. Step three. <laughs> Get it out. Um, wait for thunder. <laughs> wait for lightning. Step three, wait for your friend to pull out a camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Step you recording? Four. You recording? All you right, got right. it, bro. You got it, bro. Game time. Game time. Oh, yeah, wait, don't <laughs> go Swano. Go Swano. 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 I can't uh, believe you shared that. There's, That's usually uh, their friends are I know. Go Okay, we'll do the funny answer and then we'll do the serious answer for you, uh, Corey. What's his name, Corey? Corey, what? This is totally this is Corey right? Gordon. Corey Gordon. Gordon. Ramsey. Corey Gordon. All right. Uh, yeah, this is there, a really great question. Thank you for asking. That. <laughs> no, I think. Uh, well, one of the things with Hanalei just said, giving a permission. You know, for for kids, we think. Okay. So for growing up, or or for adults, we have to teach them everything. It's, yeah, we think that they need to we be think taught that's by us. Right. But the, but when you give them the permission to do exactly what they want to do, you'd be surprised. Like she she can draw for 10 hours a day. You can do, uh, you know, 10 hours of designing. It's like, all right, well then take it. And just to somewhere. add on my designing, that designing sentence, like really how you guys started for me to design is just by putting your kid out there. Like being able to say, hey, here's a sketchbook and pencil. Do you want to do this? Oh, here's a soccer ball. Do you want to do this? Mm -hmm. Like giving them options and giving them choices. You know, this was for the adults, Hanalei. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you know, this is, this was specifically Children on that side, mom and dad on this side. That's right. Yeah. This, is, this is for mom Ma and dad. I think That's it's bad. very... Silence. <laughs> I love it. Silence. <laughs> you cannot silence right. me. Uh, okay, next one. Butters Mission. is like in the background. Okay, um, well... We, this is great, actually. Um, we read the book, The Celestine Prophecies, mm -hmm. when Brian and I were in that three-month tour that I was talking about in my podcast. We took a three-month trip. And I got The Celestine Prophecies for like a dollar. Remember that? I was yep. reading it, and I was like, whoa. It was it really it's tripped me out. It, it was such a good book. But there was one thing that happened that we implemented and we just remembered is there's a scene in the book where the guy's running away from the you know military or whatever, and this woman and this child pick him up. He gets in the back seat. And they're driving, and... He says to the woman that picked him up, how old is your daughter? And she looked at him. So anyway, so in the book, he, he asked this woman to the woman, how old's your daughter? She looked at him and said, why don't you ask her? Just that statement alone just made us realize, like, wait a minute, they are their own person. And what beings. happens is that adults constantly, they make decisions for kids. They tell them what to do. They tell them how to think. Anytime adults are speaking, it's you are to be seen and not heard because we know more because we're experienced. We completely wipe that out because in the book they talk about, she goes, the reason why I told you that is because she thinks for herself. And when we as parents give them the permission to actually have their own mindset, their own thoughts, their own, she has to have a part in what the decisions are made, they get their self-worth increases, mm. right? Their self-worth, they become realizing that they matter, their voice matters. And we implemented that early on, but uh, that I remember that. Born. Before she was born, I remember that. And then another thing that we implemented as well, and this is a great question because I think it'll help everyone, is um, that we remove the words no, not, and don't. This is a big one. This is like the biggest really, piece of advice really we give anyone, one. yeah. And we, uh, we, we went to an event uh, probably about two years before Hanalei was born. And he, the guy, Michael Auger, it was law of attraction. He says, take no, not, and don't out of your vocabulary. Mm. Because that's we're so uh, programmed to just say that. Don't do that. You know, It's mm. like, stop. And, but when you actually have to think about it, consciously say, Hanalei, you're, you know, you're high up there. There are consequences. Like you don't, you know, if she's about ready to run out in front of a car, then you say, stop. 
But for the most part, you actually have to think about it. Mm. And that's, so we're not just telling them these, these negative words. Walk around the crack. You know, and, and the last interview we were talking about is like, you know, why do us as adults, instant, our instant reply is, what do you want for dinner? Well, I don't want pizza. I don't want this. That's our right. automatic responder. But if we were to be framed early on to say what I want, now you make decisions. You don't make excuses, you make decisions. And that's something we were very conscious on early on with Hanale is giving her permission to have a voice and to actually make the decision of what she wanted so that now she's going for what she wants, not backing up and looking at what I don't want because that's a negative reinforcement. And we practice amongst, we practice between ourselves before she was born for two years on this. Yeah, and it's hard. Try it. I actually challenge everyone to start utilizing, taking out no, not, and don't out of your vocabulary and see how easy and how many times you Even if you you don't have a child. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like super cool because I always hear the stories from both uh, parties and like uh, one of the stories was like you guys were fighting over where you guys want to go mm. and then you're like no let's go here and you're like no let's go here and then I think one of you guys was like Holly where do you want to go and Holly's like two or three or something no she was she was five at this yeah. point yeah four or five so she's, maybe yeah yeah w- w- what was that like that she was just directed where you guys yeah were, we, we were in so we were Brazil. <laughs> This is not always we're, the no, easiest. No, 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 no. We weren't in Brazil. We were yeah, we were in Brazil. We were in Brazil. <laughs> He's giving her the choice because here we are flying. We used to say, look, we're only a flight away. So you, there's no, it's like living in a big, you know, USA. You have to drive to your grandparents 10, 20 hours, right? Yeah. We're like, we're just a flight away. So just because we're traveling doesn't mean you still can have connections. So sur- sure enough, we're in Brazil wondering what to do at Christmas. And we're thinking we're going to go to Natal, North or Rio in Brazil. She goes, no, no I, I want to go to. I wanted to go. I wanted to go to either Chile oh, yeah. or Argentina yeah. and go snowboarding. And then Rhonda goes, she goes, no, I, I want to be in the tropics. I'm like, I want to be in the snow. And we were just completely arguing. And we're, then we just, where do you want to go, Hanale? She goes, I want to go see my friends in Panama. I'm like, all okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> and we went to Panama the next day. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it went. But it's because she now understands how to say what I want. We don't actually know what we want. Everyone right now, think about it. What do you actually want for lunch? Or what do you want your life to look like? You don't think about those kind of things. And if they can be programmed early on to think about what do I want, and they tell people, articulate, this is what I want, Mm. then you live your perfect day. Yes. Well, one of the questions that sums upon that question, which is probably what other people are having, is what happens then if all they want to do is just spend hours and hours and hours Mm. on YouTube? And Ooh. then you're like, well, damn, I want you to learn. Like, I think we had a conversation. Yeah, just we did. listen to your podcast or, like, listen yeah, to Yeah, I mean, you can as long as you like <laughs> yes. listen to the you, online podcast. You, you can binge watch on this. <laughs> we, we are giving you the permission. Take, take that one because that, that was one of the our Because that's weird as a parent. Like, uh, like my, yeah. especially with computers, and you could find your way slaving away on social media for hours. And then some green schools are like, oh, just leave your kid alone. Something good will happen. Yeah, well, you know, our initial programming was, of course, you need school. That's the only way you're going to learn, and that's how she's going to get educated. So here we are traveling, and she chose to be in schools because she wanted socialization. She said, I want to go to school. Mm. But then as it got through schools, we started to realize, literally, she's just being, you know, told what to do every day against what we were teaching her. Mm. So she's being told to do, she's being told to go to the bathroom. Mm. And the weird things started to happen within the schooling systems. And we were suggested by a friend, look, yeah, let her do homeschool. And I'm like, I'm not a homeschool teacher. I am not going to do homeschool. I don't have time. I don't know. She goes, no, no, no. It's nothing to do with you. So what do you mean? She's like nine years old. It's nothing to do with you. She will find her way. Let her discover what it is she loves. Mm. And I was like, no. Are like, you come kidding on. me? What? She's like, no, let her watch TV all day. Let her do this. They will get bored. They are so intelligent that they will go and find the things that they need to educate themselves. In the beginning, it doesn't feel right. And <laughs> it, I mean, and it was but, totally okay. against our normal thought um, process. And, and here's where it goes wrong. If the parents yeah. are lazy and do yeah. nothing, they're going to do exactly what they do. Interesting. And that's where wow. it came and from. She, like, she's like, yeah. And you're going to have no problem because you guys are it, freaking it moving. It did take me a while. Like when I got into homeschool, like looking on it now, there was a lot of me continuously drawing mm. and then watching cartoons while drawing mm. and then stopping eating cartoons, drawing. Mm. It was just a bunch of that. But then like I looked at myself, I'm like, wait, 
I don't know what's three plus three. Wait, what? <laughs> and then I'm like, midlife learning, I'm crisis. like. <laughs> <laughs> That's and nine. like what someone with a midlife crisis has five. Like, three plus three? <laughs> it's just haunting them. <laughs> <laughs> I will never know. I have to drop this cartoon. <laughs> That's so crazy, dude. Yeah, self-reliance, right? And I mean, this is, and she was she was <clears throat> using this online program, though, that was, um, what was it called? Guided? Uh, it Guided, yeah. it shut the down. Sixty-seven so steps. Yeah, they got to tell them. Sixty-seven steps. Like in Thai, it's illegal in seventy-three yeah, countries. Uh, what? No, but no. it was no, no. He's teasing. It was so. It was a program. It was like an online and, and, course, but and, it was about them self-discovery. The f- funny thing is that personally, everyone this is going really I'm, crazy. I'm sorry. Uh, but, but personally, like everyone learns in a different way. Yeah. We all have different ways of learning. Yeah, Josh learning. Bowman. This poor guy. You should like. You guys are roasting him. We and should do so, roasts. And so what happened was, like, I would get in this call with this uh, teacher. Like, she didn't call herself a teacher, but it was a teacher. And mm-hmm. so she would just be like, "What do you want to do today? What do you want to learn?" Which- and she just kept on asking me, and I'm like, uh, I don't want to do school. I want to watch cartoons. And so then she's just like, do it. do it. And then I'm just like, I looked back after like three months of doing this, six months with doing this with her. I'm just like, I don't, I haven't learned anything. But they, she realized. But this was her thought. Right. Yeah. She wasn't mom and dad no, like, you need to do because this. Because they won't do it if we're telling you you need to do math or you do yeah. this. So that's really where it came from. It was a philosophy that I was like, I'm not sure about this. Oh. But then we started to realize because she's self-motivated. But they, the premise was that you guys are not slackers. You are doing something. So she's seeing it. Just don't tell her what to do. Let her figure it out. And if she's in a social setting where she doesn't understand something or math that she should know, she's actually going to go research it. And that's what we started seeing happening. Mm. She couldn't be part of a conversation that she probably figured out that she should know. She started asking questions. Hey, mom, what about this history thing? Can you tell me about this? And then that just drove. Now she's into documentaries, all this on her own. And we never have guided it. it it's it's really crazy. Like, going, it goes against Extreme, every yeah. single totally thing. I watched, her, I watched her, like, watching YouTube videos. And I just wanted to go over, like, stop fucking watching you. Yeah. And Rhonda goes, you have to just let, let her, her go. go. And I'm like, let her go. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Yeah. Wow. Like what? This this is actually